back with another video. So in this video, I want to share with you guys a message that I got this week in my prayer and silence time. I have been really asking God about why is it that some people are in a constant flow of abundance, whether it be abundance, health, wealth, happiness, and some people are really struggling to get the concept of how to co-create and manifest this great existence that we are supposed to have. And the message kept coming to me that a lot of times we get caught up on what's possible and what's not possible. We look at things in our physical reality. We don't look with our spirit eyes. We put God in this box. We put the universe in the box, the angels in the box, and we say, we want this, but in our minds, we don't really believe that we can have it or we don't believe that we're worthy of it. And so the spirit kept saying to me, what is impossible? Like what really is impossible for God? When you think about who God is, when you think about all the things that God has done, the things that you are asking for, the things that you desire in your life are really very minimal to God. Although they may seem really huge to us, we're talking about the God who has created heaven and earth. We're talking about the God of Daniel, Solomon, Moses, Joshua, Esther, Ruth. We're talking about the God who is a God of creation. And the message was, God has not changed, right? God is still the same God. It's us that has changed. We don't have the faith that we should have. We don't have the belief that we should have. We tell our dreams to other people. We tell our desires to other people and they are negative and they say, yeah, that's not going to happen. Why would God do that for you? Or they feed you all of this negative energy and you really truly forget who you are. See, once you realize that you have the ability to command to command the mountains in your life to move. Once you realize that you have the power to speak with authority things in your life, your life will change. You have to speak your life into existence. I say all the time that you speak what you seek. In the morning when you get up, what do you do? Do you just fall out of bed and, and, and go brush your teeth and take a shower and just head out the door? Or do you wake up five minutes early to say, thank you, God. Thank you for this amazing day. Today is going to be a fabulous day. The way has been paved for me. The things that you are speaking are from your mouth to God's ears. Your angel starts stirring, the universe starts moving. And even if you don't see those things happening immediately, even if you don't see those things happening right now, you have to continue to have the faith in God and know that you know that you know. So we talk about this manifestation and creation process and we know and we realize that it's with the power of our thoughts that we create. But as a man thinketh, so is he. As a woman thinketh, so is she. Therefore, if you're thinking good things, that subconscious man is connected to the Holy Spirit. And God is hearing you. And those things are showing up in your life. I tell you all the time, if you can't believe for big stuff, start with that little stuff. And the message was simply, what is impossible? There is nothing impossible for God. So you have to speak to those mountains in your life. You have to speak to that depression. You have to speak to that lack mentality. You have to speak to that anxiety. You have to speak to that depression. You have to speak to that dead toxic relationship. You have to speak to those things that you need to let go. You have to speak life into your children. You have to speak life into your business. You have the ability to command legions and legions of angels. You have the ability 
to command the mountains in your life to move. And whatever that mountain may be, you have the power within you to command it to move. So the message simply is, what is impossible? There is nothing, nothing that God cannot do. And there is nothing that he won't do for you. All you have to do is ask and believe. And you shall receive. All right, guys. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my videos as always. And share this video with somebody who may need it. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great and fabulous week. Bye for now.